Insane. Trump plans. What is he planning, buddy? What's he planning? Yeah, so another depressing video coming. <laughs> um, Trump, $500 billion Black America plan designates KKK and Antifa as terrorist organization. Is he depressed that he's pandering to the bleaks? Or is he depressed that... What is he depressed about? Probably declaring Antifa as a terrorist organization and not centering the illusionary or illusory non-existent KKK enough. Uh, let's Although, see. Although, we all know, only one of these is an organization, and only one of these has a terrorist ideology. <laughs> <laughs> Laughably absurd. No. Antifa, BLM, all that stuff is an extortion racket, okay? They've been going to businesses and demanding that people throw up their fists and, like, be conciliatory and giving in toward BLM, or, or they firebomb your shit. I mean, come on, dude. Why do they have to lie so brazenly about this shit, dude? It's so fucking insane what they're doing here. This is... <laughs> this is bizarre, dude. Okay, Proud Boys, okay, um... So-called alt-right, which it doesn't even exist either. KKK, they're terrorist, maybe on paper. KKK on paper, but like... These days, like I was saying before, mob. They're like the mob in that they barely even fucking do anything. KKK. Antifa is a decentralized unit of people who are anti-fascist. There's no Antifa headquarters. There's no George Soros-funded protests. That is a lie, dude. Look up the Open Society Foundation. They fund Black Lives Matter. You can look this up straight up on Google, dude. Open Society Foundation, headed by George Soros, funded by George Soros, and then look up the funding for BLM. You'll find Open Society Foundation. You will find, among prominent names, you will find George Soros. So... At the very least, their ideology is definitely being funded by some billionaire nefarious characters. So, once again, yet another lie. Why it's happening. All but they fucking the do is lie. Is, they have the power in the institutions. They have the will of the public. They have complete control of the media through Fox News, through, like, Tim Pool, through all of these... <laughs> is this guy... Hold on a second. Is this guy fucking troll... Did you hear what he just fucking said? They have complete control of the media through Fox News and Tim Pool, as if Fox News and Tim Pool comprises the fucking media entirely. Okay, CNBC, CNN, MSNBC, fucking... Did I say CBS? Dude, come on now. Come on. The View, Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, Google. I mean, come on. All of that is progressive. All of it is progressive Our leaning. media experiences are designed to turn people away from, like, BLM because they are showing <laughs> most Americans only videos of, like, rioting and burning buildings down and providing no context for it and saying all protesters are just simply crazy lefties, crazy <laughs> socialists, crazy anarchists who are going to burn down buildings and they're just mad. And this He thinks that the corporate media is being too harsh on BLM? This guy is out of his mind insane. Okay, Fox is the only network that will even remotely question them. And even they are soft on, on, on BLM. Like, is he out of his fucking mind? What the fuck? So, he, so he, I guess he considers, again, he must want us to think that he considers Fox and Tim Pool to be the entirety of the media. This is what most of America is seeing. If, if most of America is seeing this, it's probably because people are organically sharing these fucking video clips of BLM extorting people and assaulting people and burning shit. And the media is doing their fucking mostly peaceful protests narrative, like kind of what you're doing. You're doing the not all bullshit. We are seeing videos of police brutality, but due to the nature of media algorithms, what makes <laughs> people, what keeps people on their platforms? is showing people what they want to see and showing people what fits their ideology. So we are being what? greatly hindered by this, especially since we have no movement leader. We have no Bernie leader. We have no MLK. We have no generational leader that can usher. Y'all got Tariq Nasheed and shit. Y'all you know saying you got Tariq Nasheed. You got like what? Mark Lamont Hill. You got all kinds of scuzz bags like Al Sharpton. You got boy, oh boy, oh boy. You got, what's that one? Uh, 
Dyson, the guy that debated Jordan Peter, debated big time air quotes, debated Jordan Peterson and basically did a bunch of pulpit talk that was completely incoherent. You got Sh- Talcum X, Sean Kang. You got all kinds of spiritual fucking leaders in your movement, man. Your movement of sleazy, just misleading people and. Oh, Jacob Blake was an innocent boy who didn't do nothing. No, he was violating a restraining order violently um, against the woman that he fucking sexually assaulted. And then he fought with cops. Taser was deployed. And then he went for a knife and was shot. Oh, he was shot in the back seven times. It's like, dude, all these people do is fucking lie. It's just nothing but lying. Movement and focus all, all of this energy in one area. We have freaking Joe Biden at the head of it. That's why we're losing the messaging battle so much. We are fighting for extremely freaking complex issues. <laughs> complex is in it's just a complex string of lies. Oh, we, we Well, he at least he's not stoked about his like sniffer in chief. Um this guy is just This is genius. This guy epitomizes just soy to group these two together and do it at the same time. Okay, that I will concede. Like, grouping those two together is a very boomer move, and it is very pandering, but it should have been BLM and Antifa. He should have designated BLM as a terrorist organization. He shouldn't have even brought up the KKK, because that is doing DR3, Dems of the Real Racist, sort of conceding the point to the left that racism is, like, a huge deal. Even bringing up a group that's irrelevant uh, to the point of the KKK, like, even doing that in and of itself is conceding ground, or, like, ceding ground to the left, and I would not recommend doing that. Because if you only go Antifa, it gets questionable to a lot of Americans. But now you're associating these two names as if they're equivalent, and this is so dangerous. They're not equivalent. Antifa's worse because they actually are active and actually terrorize people right now, whereas you have to go years back to find KKK terrorizing anyone. Dangerous. So... On Duh. top of everything we've been talking about concerning the rise of fascism in the U.S. Um, on this channel, this is absolutely terrible. So the $500 billion <laughs> that Trump is promising uh. to black Americans is literally just access to capital, which means loans, essentially, bank loans and all, all that BS. It- so, yeah, I mean, it's it's some globalist shilling to get even more bleaks and, well, even more people in general, just debt slaves. But, I mean... You know, and, and you, it depends on how you look at it, really. Like, being given a loan... This is this is one of the lefty talking points we've been given for fucking years and years. Like, oh my god, um, you know, black people are given loans that they're not qualified for, and that equals racism. Well, I don't know, man. If you default on your house loan, you know, part of that is kind of on you, no matter how shitty the interest rate was. And in a lot of ways, just being given a loan that you're not qualified for is... A boon, isn't it? It's kind of a privilege. So that doesn't fucking make any sense. But these guys don't make any sense because all they do is lie and they deny that Antifa exists. They'll say that it's a de- oh, it's a decentralized. It's a bunch of different groups. Yeah, it's, it, it is a bunch of different 501c3 nonprofits that funnel money into U-Hauls that have shields and bats and burning implements. And yeah, these groups are Soros tied. We not going to fix anything. <laughs> Um, it's going to further play into the narrative that all you got to do is work hard to heal generational slights. And Donald Trump's going to be like, hey, look, I'm giving them money and they don't even need extra money, but I'm still going to help them because they have a problem with what, with what's going on. I'm still going to try to stop the riots and the protests. What is Joe Biden doing? Joe Biden has uh, done so much to the black community and Democrats have taken black voters for granted. So this is what's happening right now. Well, they do take them for granted. I mean, they use them as a vote farm, and they use them as riot for hire. Um, you know, they, they use them as a terrorizing street army by just, again, just lying about Jacob Blake, lying about George Floyd. The, I mean, George Floyd was not murdered by cops, but Biden, you know, all these people will fucking lie incessantly and say that uh, he was murdered by cops. Same with Jacob Blake. They'll, they're still bringing up like Michael Brown type shit, even though that was not true. Hands up, don't shoot was a lie. All of these prominent cases were lies. All of them. Like we don't even need to go over that, but I think for some normies out there, we kind of do need to continuously uh, repeat that, that it's just incessant fucking lies. And this guy, this, this soy, but soy beard um, has uttered not a single truthful statement this entire fucking time. This is called the platinum plan. Um, opportunity, security, prosperity, fairness. 
<laughs> none of those, none, none of which are bleak traits, by the way. None of those are bleak traits. <laughs> none of that's going to be appealing to that voter block that already doesn't vote for Repubsies, GOP. They want Gibbs, and they want soft on crime. They want cops out of their neighborhood, at least the ones that are the most vocal and the most um, in power, the most violent. They want no cops. They want money to their uh, nonprofits, that sort of thing. That's ultimately what President they want. Trump's promise to black America over four years, and here's what we got. Three million new jobs, creating 500,000 new black-owned businesses, Increase access to capital in black communities, safe urban neighborhoods with highest policing standards, commit to working on a second step act, access to better education and job. Tra- I mean, they're all terms. They don't have any way to get there. Um, they're- well, the first thing would be to let cops actually fucking go through there with, without being obstructed, you know, without being hindered to go through these neighborhoods and clean up, you know, if there's like a trap house with people cooking rock around the around the clock um that should just be fucking mopped up you know what i mean uh, and they shouldn't be calling it racist you know i think that the law the system is hindered a lot of times by this new school everything is racist ideology and white people are the devil type shit you know that's one of the things that needs to be you know ousted from our institutions they're probably talking about um uh, uh charter school waivers or whatever that doesn't work to help education we already know that doesn't work i don't really think this will move black votes but i what do you think about that do do i don't know much about the charter school thing i mean i know that lefties have a lot of propaganda about that kind of thing where it's like oh the charter schools are corrupt and mismanaged money but i mean i think that's tenfold true with public schools especially in milwaukee i mean milwaukee public schools is one of the poorest performing uh you know, schools like school systems in the United States. And we also spend a fuck ton here. So, you know, all the left hemming and hawing about like, Oh, more, not enough fundage. Or like, that's just horseshit. We all know that's horseshit. And I think that the charter school system is a, an attempt at giving people a little bit more of a breathing room, a little bit more choice. Like if they're in a district that sucks, that has like, you know, metal detectors at their fucking, you know, entryway to the schools and tons of brawling and drugs and crime and all that stuff, you know, and, and really crappy educational standards. And they don't want to send their kids there. Maybe they have a choice to send their kid to like a more halfway decent Catholic school or parochial school, you know, that sort of thing. Do think. But the, guys like this want ideological hegemony over the youth. I mean, they'll say that all the time, and that's why they want control over the schools. And if they allow for Democrat and uh, teachers' union collusion, like, that's the best way to that end, they obviously. They empower white voters who can now say, we aren't the racist party, you are the racist party. You have Antifa and the KKK, which are both born by Democrats. That's what they're going to say. These two things started under the Democratic Party. Dems are the real racists. No, I mean, see, he knows how boomer and cringe that tactic is. He knows. Um, and he knows that all he has to do is cry racism, right? That That's all he has to do is use the R word. And then he could just dismiss any sort of... He could dismiss the terabytes of videos that you could show him and people like him of Antifa terrorizing people. Like doing doing things that by the very definition of the word terrorism are terrorism by definition. Like he could just brush it off. Oh, well, you're a racist. That's all he has you to do. You guys are the racists. We'll get some black voters. Yeah, but it's really for the whites. Yeah, you're white, so you're a racist. Like that's all he has to say. No, no, Dems aren't the real racists. White people at large are racists. That's all he has to fucking say. Feel comfortable about voting Republican. And we know that the left, that Democrats, that um, uh, racial justice protesting is looked at terribly right now in America, even with all of the movements going on. Well, why don't you stop pulling people out of cars and burning small, medium, and large-sized businesses alike? Why don't you stop extorting people like, oh, put your fist up, it's more BLM, and we're going to come through. It's, I mean, dude, BLM are the new mob. I think calling them the clan with the tan might be a little bit of, bit of a misnomer, like... They're the black mob, dude. But like, they're like 
black mafia, you know? As far as I know, the mafia didn't fucking form flash mobs, you know? So an AP poll shows that support has gone down from a peak reached after the death of George Floyd. Yeah, I mean, it went it went down amongst every demographic except for Blake's, which I think it went up by like 2%. <laughs> since all the arson, terrorizing, murder, looting, rape, since all that transpired and since the media... This guy fucking lied straight up brazenly and said that the media is... Corporate media at large is anti-protester, anti-rioter. No. Kid gloves all the way. But... Um, public support has decreased amongst every demographic except blacks. So 44% of Americans disapprove I believe. of protests. So even the wording, do you approve of protests? They said no, 44% of Americans. Now, in June... I'm sure that's not misleading at all. George Floyd, 54... Who OD'd on fentanyl and was not murdered. ...percent approved of the protests. Now, only 39% approve of the protests. So less Americans approve than Americans that disapprove. So this is not good at all. It can be attributed, like I said, to media, to poor leadership, um, maybe to bad messaging. This is fascism, folks. What? Fascism, man. Opposing having your small to medium-sized business that you busted your ass on being burned down and being afraid so you bored your fucking shit up and looking to anyone who is calling it out, that's fascism? Dude, these guys are making that big old scary F word seem more and more appealing by the day. <laughs> so it's here. It's thriving. Along with the R it word. It's been on its way for a while. And this is going to be a... Okay, so fascism is, is, is not this. Fascism is not this, ladies and gentlemen. That That's what it is. Not this. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Coaster in the coming months. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go exactly. Like, I've thought we've reached the worst case scenario a, co a couple times for this election, but somehow it keeps on upgrading and getting more and more dire as we approach it. So I guess we just have to strap in and get ready for the ride, and everyone, everyone who is in a... Strap in and get ready for the riot? Anarchist district, as Trump calls it. Um, Stay safe. Don't get pulled into any unmarked ve vehicles or anything. So this dude is kind of thinly veiled, but not so thinly veiled encouraging or inciting riots, so... Hmm. Kind of sketch, dude. Kind of fucking sketch. 